So what do your dreams mean? <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is what your dreams mean, how you can interpret them for yourself, um, and how it's not actually that difficult, okay? There's a lot of sort of illusion and myth around the whole dream interpretation topic, and I don't think there needs to be, because really it's very simple, okay? And it works like this. When you dream, your subconscious mind creates the dream world based on things you've experienced before or things you have imagined before, okay? So it could be a mixture of things you've seen on films, things you've read in books, or memories. So when you dream, especially, not when you lucid dream, because that's slightly different, but when you, norm, when you just have a normal dream, what's happening is your mind is sort of organizing the things that you've experienced that day and also mixing them with things that you've imagined uh, and things you've experienced on other days. It's sort of like a giant tumbler of all these experiences and thoughts and ideas all mixing together. So say if you were to dream about a dog running towards you and then the dog burst into flames, what does that mean, right? Well, the only way of really knowing is by asking yourself what those objects and dream signs mean to you. And this is why it's so difficult to interpret dreams because everyone's different and everyone has a different idea and a different interpretation of the dream signs. So what a dog might mean to me is different to what it might mean to you. You know, if I've been chased by a dog as a kid, it might mean something terrible to me Whereas if you've always loved dogs and had a close nature, if you've had pets before, then a dog in a dream might be something quite positive for you, whereas it might be negative for me. So as you can see, there's no, I can't really explain, you know, how to interpret your dreams because really it comes down to interpreting yourself and everyone's different. So if I dream about something, it's going to be different to if you dream about it. That being said, all you really need to do to understand what your dreams mean is just to think about what happened in the dream. Let's say if you had, for example, you dreamed about walking along the top of a fence, right? Ask yourself what do fences mean to you? So fences are obviously a barrier between two different bits of property. Normally they separate a garden from the outside world. So maybe they're to do with security. And you can sort of ask yourself these questions. What does it mean to you? Well, maybe if you're a fencer and that's your profession, then it means something different to if you're not a fencer because it's not as significant, right? In the same way that say if you dreamed about swimming a length of a swimming pool, that's going to be a different um, meaning if you're a professional swimmer than it is to, say, me and you, who maybe aren't professional swimmers, right? So really just ask yourself... I don't know that one. Really, it just comes down to asking yourself what the dream signs mean to you. And there, there are a few questions you can ask yourself, right? You could say, what does... Say if you dream about throwing a book into a pond, right? What do books mean to you? Well, books, for me, they're a source of knowledge, they're a way of understanding ideas... And they're a form of escapism, right? So by me throwing a book into a pond, it might mean that I don't want any more escapism or that I don't want to have any new ideas coming into my mind. Maybe I'm feeling slightly closed-minded. And that's it. That's an interpretation. That, that could be the dream meaning of that dream for me. Whereas it might be different for you if you're a librarian, right? It, me it might mean that you don't want to work in the library anymore or that you've decided to change careers. So as you can see, it's very complicated. There's no real way of knowing what the things mean. And you have to sort of understand yourself and work out what the symbols mean for you uh, specifically. So hopefully this has sort of demystified the whole dream interpretation topic. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you next time.